Hi. In this question, we look at how to solve um, simultaneous equations when we have one equation being a secular function and the other equation being a linear function. Um, you would by now be used to the um, process for solving simultaneous equations when you have two linear equations where you could use the elimination method or the substitution method. But in this case, when we have um, two separate equations, one equation either being a secular uh, function or a quadratic, with the other being linear, the most efficient way um, to begin its solution is to use um, the method of substitution. So that's what we're going to use with this particular question. So begin by labeling your equations. So that equation one, equation two. It is easier to, okay, let's do this to manage our page. It is easier to use the um, linear function um, and substitute that into the secular function. Okay, so from equation two, what do we have? We can say, making y the subject, the y equals 13 add 3x. Okay, now we're going to substitute our y into equation one. But before we do that, because y in equation 1 is actually a y squared, we will try to square the y here before we um, carry on with our substitution. So if you do this carefully, this should give you 169, that's the 13 squared, add 3x squared, which will give you 9x squared, add the double of 13 times 3x. 13 times 3 will give you 39. Mm -hmm. So you want double of 39x. Okay. All right. So this will then simplify to our y squared being 9x squared plus 78x add 169. So it is this that we will now substitute into our equation one. So let's call this equation three. So we're going to put three into one. And that would give us x squared add 9x squared add 78x add 169 and don't forget it all of that equal to 25. Now we can see a quadratic equation emerging can't we in one variable which is x hence we want to rewrite it to be of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero so that we can solve it. Mm -hmm. So what do we do? Um, shall we eliminate the 25 from the right hand side by subtracting 25 from both sides. Mm -hmm. So our equation now would look like 10x squared add 78x and 169 take away 25 will give us 144 and that equal to zero. Now, I want to simplify things for myself um, I, so that it's easier for me to uh, pick out my um, factors. So I can see each of these are even numbers. So I'm going to divide through by two. So then that would leave us with 5x squared add 39x add 72 equal to zero. At this stage now, we want to focus on factorizing this quadratic. Okay, so remember our method um, from my previous video. If you want to so, um, factorize quadratics where you have coefficient of more than one for the x squared, you would need to do 5 times 72 and your 5 times 72, let's call that m times n, gives us 360 right so we're looking for two numbers that would multiply 
to give us 360 but then that would add to give us so m add n will give us 39 so you need to have a little think about that so we want the two numbers to multiply to give you 360 but then to add to give us 39 so that would leave us to 24 and 15 because 24 add 15 will give you 39 at the same time their product will give you 360 hence we have 5x squared add we're going to substitute in place of the 39 our 24 and 15 so that's 24x add 15x add 72 equal to zero and this is how we expect you to proceed in case you did not have a calculator okay so if we split it down the middle factorizing our left hand side a common factor there will be x so we have 5x add 24 in the brackets and on the right hand side now whatever is in the bracket here would also be here so we can just copy this out just to make life a little easier for ourselves and then think about what should be out here so that when we multiply it we're going to get whatever is there so we would have to factor a3 so that so that is a plus 3 so 3 times 5 15 3 times 24 gives us 72 now at this stage we want to factorize further so both have a common factor of 5x add 24 so let's factor that out that leaves us with x add 3 equal to 0 okay now carrying on then that would mean if two expressions multiply to give us a 0 that tells us that either 5x add 24 is 0 or x add 3 is 0 okay so this gives us for example that means that x should be negative 3 and how about this side we know that 5x then should be 24 negative and then x will be negative 24 over 5 okay right you're almost there so right initially we made y the subject on the left hand side there so now we know the individual values for x we can find the corresponding y values okay so our y is then going to be 13 add 3 lots of negative 3 that should be 13 minus 9 and that should give you 4. Hence, when x is negative 3, y is 4. So we transfer to the other side. We do the same thing. y then becomes 13 add 3 lots of negative 24 over 5. Mm -hmm. And when simplified, this should give you a y equals, I have here, um, negative 1.7 let's put that in our calculator so we don't make any silly mistakes mm -hmm. minus fraction 24 over 5 so that gives us a negative 1.4 okay you could also write it as a fraction if you want that should be negative seven fifths okay and so that's it you got your the values that you need okay so for the full five marks